So in this example, we're going to look at the sum from r is 1 to n of r squared take away r. OK, so we're going to break this apart into two summations. The sum from r is 1 to n of r squared. Take away the sum from r is 1 to n of r. Now we've got that one, because that's given to us in the formula booklet. But we don't have that one, so that's the one we've got to remember. OK, so... Sum of r squared is 1 sixth n, n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. OK, so remembering this one, it is 1 half n, n plus 1. That's one you're just going to have to memorise, or you're going to have to work it out on the day. So, now we want to factorise this, OK? Right. So what is common to both of these terms? Well, they both have an n. They both have the n plus 1. OK? Now, I can write those down first. Now, in the previous example, I also decided on what, um, what I wanted to kind of factor out uh, as the front term as well, the, the fraction on the front. OK? Now, let's say I didn't do that, because sometimes uh, people don't really like doing it at that point. So let's avoid that step for the moment and we'll just focus on this and see what we get. So we're going to factor both those two terms out. So we've got the 1 sixth left and the 2n plus 1. Then take away, well, n times n plus 1 just times minus a half will do it. Okay, so this is what we've got. So n, n plus 1 times so we've got 2n times 1 sixth, which is 1 third n. Then we've got 1 sixth, and then we've got take away a half. So 1 sixth take away a half is minus a third. OK? So at this stage now, I would be going, right, now I can factor 1 third out. And maybe at this stage, it seems a little bit more obvious that that's something you can do. So you could leave it like this, 1 third n, n plus 1, n minus 1. OK, uh, you could expand those brackets uh, to get the difference of two squares. OK, you could do that. But it really depends, because the majority of exam questions that you get on this often might say, uh, show that this can be written in the form of k, n, n plus 1, n minus 1, and where you've got to identify the value of k. So that could be uh, the type of question that you've got to deal with here.